a very good day to all of you welcome to this class of science dear students in this video we will understand the remaining agricultural practices first of all let's recapitulate the main points of last video crop plants of the same kind that are grown and cultivated on a large scale at a place two cropping patterns rabi crop and kharif crop preparation of soil is the first step of agriculture which includes plowing and leveling putting of good variety and healthy seeds in soil is called sowing of seeds manures and fertilizers are added to the soil for replenishment of nutrients this picture shows all the agricultural practices we have completed the first three let's see next one irrigation regular supply of water to crops at regular intervals importance of irrigation it is important for proper growth of plants it is essential for germination of seeds it protects the crop from both frost and hot air water is absorbed by the plant roots sources of irrigation wells tube wells ponds and lakes rivers canals and dams methods of irrigation traditional method and modern method let's see the traditional method first water available in lakes wells and canals is lifted up by different ways for taking it to fields cattle or human labor is used in these methods they are cheaper but less efficient Various traditional ways are mowed, chain pump, dekhli, rahat. This picture shows all the traditional methods. Modern methods. It helps us to use water economically. First, sprinkler system. Second, drip system. sprinkler system the water gets sprinkled on the crop as if it is raining it is more useful on the uneven land where sufficient water is not available drip system water falls drop by drop directly near the roots It is the best technique to reduce water wastage in agriculture. Do you know in summer the frequency of watering is higher? Why is it so? Let's see the next agricultural practice. Protection from weeds. weeds are the undesirable plants that grow naturally along with crop for example wild oat the removal of weeds is called weeding weeding is necessary because they compete with the crop plants for water nutrients space and light they affect the growth of the crop 
they may be poisonous for animals and human beings weeding can be done at the time of tilling before sowing of seeds rooting manually or cutting them with the help of khurpi or seed drill with the use of chemicals called weedicides 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 are the chemicals used for weeding spraying of weedicides may affect the health of farmers they should use them very carefully harvesting the cutting and removing of the crop from the field after maturity is called harvesting harvesting can be done manually by sickle it can be done by a machine called harvester threshing separation of grain seeds from the stalk and chaff it can be done manually or with the help of thresher winnowing separation of grains from husk storage it is the last agriculture practice it is essential to store harvested grains to prevent its spoilage from moisture insects rats and microorganisms the grains should be dried properly in the sun before storing them it will reduce the moisture present in the grains farmers store grains in jute bags or metallic bins storage at large scale is done in silos and granaries we have completed all the agricultural practices now we will see food from animals food is also obtained from animals milk and milk products meat eggs honey animal husbandry the rearing of animals on a large scale for food production is called animal husbandry let's see what have we learned today supply of water to crops at appropriate intervals is called irrigation the various sources of irrigation are wells tube wells canals rivers dams and ponds the traditional methods of irrigation are moat rahat chain pump and dekhi The modern methods of irrigation includes sprinkler and drip system. Weeds are the undesirable plants that grow naturally along with the crop. The removal of weeds is called weeding. It can be done manually or with the use of weedicides. Harvesting is the cutting of mature crop manually or by the machines separation of the grains from the stalk and chaff is called threshing proper storage of grains is necessary to protect them from microorganism and pests food is also obtained from animals for which animals are reared it is called animal husbandry home assignment 
Question number one. What is irrigation? Describe two methods of irrigation which conserve water. Question number two. What are weeds? How can we control them? Question number three. Write a short note on threshing, storage of grains and animal husbandry. Question number four. Make a flow chart of all agricultural practices involved in crop production and management. Friends, we have completed chapter 1, crop production and management. Thank you and have a nice day to all.